All right, guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. Uh, behind me is a 1970 Chevelle. Uh, I love the blue on this car. Uh, even more so than that, I love the fact that it is a big block. It is a four-speed, 12-bolt uh, rear end in the thing. Um, it's a really nice car. We're going to go to give you a listen to the motor right now to start off with. All right, guys, starting on the front of this thing, um, as, uh, the first thing that screams at me is, of course, the signature stripes that this thing has. It does have the cowl induction hood. Um, I don't know that it's hooked up. Generally, these things rest in the up position, um, so it, may, it very well may not be hooked up. However, it does have the hood if you ever do want to uh, install all that stuff with all the menagerie of vacuum hoses and stuff that makes that actually function properly from the factory. Um, you can see that the front end on this thing is in pretty good shape, obviously, you know, it's uh, when it went through its restoration, all the bezels and stuff like that, most of that stuff uh, more than likely got re-chromed um, or replaced outright. Uh, looks like a brand new bumper on the car, um, looks like all this stuff, like I said, looks like it's been, uh, of course, restored. Front end on it is beautiful, it's got the SS badge up front. Coming around to the side of it here, you can see uh, all like the wheel, uh, wheel well trim, or uh, I guess, yeah, wheel well trim. All that seems to be uh, in pretty good shape on it, most likely redone. Um, now, I mentioned that it does have the, uh, the period correct, you know, stripes, the cowl hood, the, uh, the hood pins. However, the wheels and tires on this, or at least the tires, I should say, are not actually period correct. These are, uh, of course, uh, radial uh, upgrades. Um, but, you know, BF Goodrich Radial TA, it's a good tire. Uh, Super Sport badge is over here, 454. Yes, it is a big block, as you heard me say before. Um, as far as door gaps go, they're pretty good. They're pretty nice. Whoever did this uh, did a pretty decent job of lining everything up. All the chrome looks like it's a good shape. Um, interior is beautiful. We're going to get to that in just a second. You can get a good uh, glance across the top of the, uh, the roof of the car here, and you can see that the paint looks like, uh, looks like water on a calm day, pretty much, and uh, even more so now that the paint is blue on this car. Um, side of it, or I guess it would be the uh, rear quarter panel on the thing, looks like it's I mean, in excellent shape, all of it. Seems like it's all pretty good solid metal there. Of course, there's, you know, I don't believe there to be any filler on it. And when we get into the trunk here, you can, you can look right down inside those quarters and see that uh, everything looks pretty straight on this car. Um, rear bumper on it, of course, looks to be re-chromed at one point, um, maybe sometime in the past, but uh, it's still in pretty good shape. Coming around this side here, you can see the paint on this side is a beautiful shape. Door gaps all seem to line up okay. Um, you know, both front and back fender gaps, all of the trim is on the car. Once again, look at the BF radial uh, TAs on this thing, and you can see it does have a bit of a stanced look. If I'm not mistaken, this tire is slightly uh, smaller than the back, gives you that little bit of a raked look. I can see disc brakes poking through the spokes there on the wheel. Um, pretty nice car. Let's take a look at the interior. Okay, guys, the interior on this car is really nice. Um, you can see that it's it's pretty much stock. They haven't monkeyed with it too much, and I like to see that, especially because um, you know these were in, these were pretty uh, nice interiors, well designed uh, from the factory. There's really no reason to mess with them. They have everything that you're going to need in the way of gauges goes, so there's no reason to add anything. Um, you can see here we've got our tachometer, speedometer, amperage gauge. Um, if not mistaken, this is fuel and coolant, if uh, memory uh, serves correctly. And uh, the only thing that it does not have is a full blown oil gauge, which is just a dummy light right here. Um, but, you know, there's not much reason to add anything to it. I think it actually is uh, relatively well covered uh, without having to add anything. And that being said, without them um, having added uh, additional stuff on this car, the underside of the dash on this thing is actually pristine. There's no uh, just, you know, haggard, haggled wired or wiring going everywhere. It's actually pretty nice under there. Um, and it looks like, you know, there's no wires jammed into the fuse box, so on and so forth. Stuff that I really, as a mechanic, hate to see. Um, so you've got that going for this car. You've got a fully functional interior light. Um, you've got the headliner looks like it's in pretty good shape. You can see here that the upholstery on is in really nice shape. The seats, so I don't see any uh, little rips or anything like that. Of course, no cigarette burns or anything like that. Um, same thing with the rear seat. The carpet obviously was replaced. Looks like these sill plates were replaced. Um, I mean, it all looks like it's in really nice shape in here. It looks like everything, if it didn't need to be redone, um, you know, they at, least, they at least fluffed it up as much as they could when they went to go reassemble the car, um, what, what components weren't entirely replaced during the uh, restoration. Um, 
something else I always like to point out in this section of the video is that our uh, weather stripping, of course, has all been replaced on this. Everything feels nice and soft. Uh, you know, it's got a lot of give to it. Our wind lace, they actually installed our wind lace and stuff like that. They didn't skimp on that. The, um, I guess it would be the door jams on this thing look pretty nice. You get a couple of little bitty scratches you know, here and here, just a, maybe just your uh, typical, you know, little boot rash or something like that or whatever it may, may be. They didn't quite finish this up to perfection, but it's all sealed. There's nothing wrong with it and it's, uh, it's not going anywhere. This car is going to be here for a very long time because the work was done properly. Um, of course, you've got all like this right here. Generally, those are all cracked up or gone or they don't want to sit in there anymore. That's all there. Um, looks like the interior panels, both the uh, driver's door panel and passenger door panel look like they're in beautiful shape. Same thing with the rear uh, panels. And uh, something else I always do during this section of the video, I point out that the uh, weather stripping on all the cars that we buy is, uh, is always in pretty good shape on it. And this one feels absolutely brand new. Door bumpers are there. Given the feel underneath the door, I don't feel any rust bubbles or anything like that. It all feels really nice. I can even feel all my drain holes and they feel like there's not leaves, stems and stuff like that sticking out of them, of course. You know, not to my surprise, but just so you guys know that uh, this thing uh, looks like it's uh, done a, whoever did this restoration seemed like they did it right. They really tried to make sure that you guys get a, a, a essentially a brand new Chevelle when you go to buy one of these things. And uh, something else I always like to do, door closes pretty darn well. It's got quite a bit of spring to it, but it does, uh, that's pretty nice right there. And of course, you know, I'm not picking up on it. The hinges seem like everything is uh, nice and tight on it. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Let's go check out the trunk. Um, all right, guys, in the trunk of this thing, it's in pretty good shape. You can see that uh, during the restoration, they, of course, painted the underside of the deck lid, and it looks like all the lock components and all that stuff was replaced. A lot of that stuff gets sticky over the years, uh, especially with condensation. And then this thing that always likes to fail on GMs and create a, a water mess back here. Um, this has all been replaced, and, of course, all your jams in here, all stuff that's important to, you know, real enthusiasts that... Uh, care about this sort of like all the little ins and outs of these things. This is all in really nice shape. Looks like they, uh, they cleaned this really well, possibly sandblasted it, whatever they might have done. Um, this of course does not have any of that just, you know, sealer like they painted over some, uh, some crud. This is actually pretty nice here. Um, it implies to me that they uh, probably sandblasted a lot of this before painting the car. Um, all stuff that I'd like to see, and that all being said, it's not pitted either. Um, so all that's going for this. Of course it has this new uh, weather seal on it so that you don't get the water mess back here. Um, this thing actually has all, a lot of its original um, jack equipment for all you old timers there that use the, use the bumper jacks. That's uh, actually still in here. You've got your lug wrench, tire, and uh, all the attaching hardware for most of that stuff. Um, it does have, uh, looks like a newish trunk mat in the thing. Um, you know, it's not, you can see here that, you know, the, the trunk floor on this thing, it's not, you know, it's in pretty good shape as well, you know, nice and solid. Um, and then I also pointed out that, you know, uh, that these quarters seem like they were all nice, good metal, and I could reach all the way down in here. I mean, I'm, if there was any dirt or any nastiness, I'd be bringing it up with my fingers. I mean, this thing is uh, it's pretty solid. It looks to be pretty original. And I don't see a seam in here either, which is uh, implying to me that this is probably original quarters on this car as well. Looking forward here, I can see that it uh, looks like the rear seat looks like, you know, pretty much all original on it, um, possibly reupholstered, but, uh, you know, there's no... Um, Nothing that's scary that I see up there and toward the front of it. Um, same thing I'd like to point out with the wiring, all this. It all looks to be pretty factory type stuff. You know, there's not a whole bunch of twist and tapes and stuff like that. We always hate to see that stuff, and we always fix it if we do find it. However, this car looks to, um, looks to have been spared all of that uh, menagerie as much as possible. So that all being said, make sure I got the keys in my back pocket so that I don't uh, lock them in the trunk. We've done that once. We'll never do it again. Um, just like that, trunk closes easy. We're going to go take it out back. We're going to fire it up, get you a good listen to the engine, um, and kind of show you all the ins and outs of the interior and just how everything operates, all the things that need to work on these things, make sure and show you that they all work. And then uh, we'll throw it up on the hoist, and we're going to give you the uh, whole ins and outs of the engine, transmission, all of it. So uh, stay tuned. Let's go for a ride in the 70 Chevelle. What a sweet ride. Four speed, big block, beautiful paint, cow induction hood. Man, she is awesome. And I tell you what, the exhaust on this car is perfect. It's just loud enough to make some noise, but not so loud you get thrown in jail and your neighbors all hate you. Now down here on the dash, you can see 
Uh, Speedo's working, the tack is working. Looks like the uh, clock is going tick tock, but I wouldn't count on that to uh, tell time. I don't think it's telling time. And the uh, horn's working also. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're shipping experts. We can ship a Chevelle anywhere in the world. You just give us a call at 248-974-9513. Now Tom answers his phone seven days a week and practically 24 hours a day. So call him anytime. He'd love to tell you just how easy it is to park this dream in your driveway. Also, we offer financing at Vanguard. We've got two, other, uh, two different finance companies for you and they'll take real good care of you. Just uh, your phone number and a little bit of information, they can tell you everything you need to do to finance one of these so you can park this dream in your drive and have some fun. We're right outside the Motor City. We're real close to Ann Arbor and only 20 minutes from the airport. So if you fly in to see us, just give us a call. We'll actually come down to the airport and pick you up if you'd like. We've got about 200 cars in stock right now, and we're buying 40 new cars every month. So you never know what we may have tomorrow. So keep a close eye on us. We're always posting new inventory every day. And look how nice this baby's driving. No hands on the wheel, going straight down the road. Hit the brakes with no hands on the wheel. She's stopping straight as an arrow. Just a sweet ride here, guys. 70 Chevelle. Probably the hottest muscle car out there right now. If you made me choose only one car to have at a muscle car shop, 70 Chevelle's it, man. This is the baddest ass street car on the planet right now. Here's our shop. We're at 15100 Keel Street in Plymouth, Michigan. So you guys stick with us because we're going to put it on the lift so you can see just how nice the bottom side is. Then we're going to pop the hood, see what's making all that music coming out of the tailpipe. All right, we're underneath the 70 Chevelle now, and man, she's clean under here. You can see she's got a brand new tank, brand new exhaust, tips. Um, everything's been coated under here, real nice looking. It looks like it did have a, a new trunk floor put on it. I see some new welds. Um, it's beautiful under here. Drop downs look good, the inner wheelhouses look nice. We look like we've got new shocks. We've got a 12 bolt rear end, it is an open rear end and it's right around a 310 gear. Now those bushings also look like they were done at one time, definitely not original. The lower control arms are reinforced. Um, upper control arms, bushings look like they're in decent shape. Flowmaster mufflers, looks like we got a new U-joint here. Um, now on the brakes, the guys will pull those all apart. They'll make sure they're in good working order. Um, back side of the rockers look good. The floorboards look great. I mean, it's really, really nice. This all looks original to the car to me. Parking brake cables hooked up. We've got a Saginaw four speed. We've got a um, cast bell housing here. She's got a mechanical clutch in her. Looks like a brand new brake line running side to side. The bushings up front look like they were changed. Now we do have disc brakes up front. It looks like brand new rotors on them too. The ball joints have been replaced at one time also. The guys will check out the steering gear. Core support's in good shape. That's one of the things I always look at on these cars. Uh, these things would collect crap in here, so it's one of the first things to rust out on a lot of these cars. Front bumper also looks brand spanking new. Just a gorgeous car underneath. Let's look at those wheels and tires. Up front here, we got SS wheels. Uh, center caps look new. Paintwork looks great. Trim rings are in good shape. I see one little dent there. Uh, we've got 205 6015s, and take a look at those wheelhouses. Those babies look brand spanking new. Look at that shiny paint in there. The uh, wheel. All right, out back here, center caps look new, trim rings look great, paint on the wheel looks great. 255 6015s, and look at that wheelhouse. Look how nice and solid and clean that is. Wheel lip molding looks good. Just an amazing car, guys. Let's get under the hood. All right, we're under the hood here. We got 454, we got a Cal induction air cleaner here, 750 Holly sitting under there, dual pumper, Edelbrock aluminum intake. Uh, looks like the alternator's brand new. Paint work on the motor looks great. We got the, some of the correct clamps here. 
few of them here. There's an old radiator clamp right there. Uh, we've got um, power steering, power brakes. That whole power brake setup looks brand new. The uh, windshield wiper motor also looks brand new. The firewall's nicely painted. We've got the cast um, manifolds there, and they look like they have been painted with that high heat cast manifold paint. Uh, radiator looks like she's uh, been rebuilt at one time. We got a fan shroud on the, um, looks like a stock appearing fan with a fan clutch on it. Everything under the hood looks tight. We've got a brand new Delco battery here. We've got the inner wheelhouses are definitely brand new. I see the uh, part number stickers on them right there. Guys, the car's sweet. She's beautiful. Give us a call at 248 974 9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this dream in your driveway.